A Charlotte area family hoping for a miracle this Christmas after a devastating diagnosis for a young father of three. But the family says they may be shut out from their best hope for help because of a cruel twist of fate. WCNC reporter Michelle Bowden has their story. This is the story of an ordinary family facing an extraordinary fight and yet refusing to give up hope. They are the things we all do, the times we all cherish, the memories families make every day. <laughs> Trips to the beach, to Epcot, father and son at a Clemson game, the birth of a new baby. That's little L, Derek and Amber Ingram's youngest, when they brought her home to meet her older sister Kate and brother Bo. That was November 2021. Earth shattering. A day that we never ever want to relive. Our youngest was three days old, and so we took our little newborn baby in tow um, to get literally the worst news we could ever be given. Amber, a school teacher, and Derek, who worked in architecture, went to the doctor after noticing some weird things. In the middle of baseball season, throwing the ball in the backyard with Bowie, realized that he could no longer close his glove. I've had this um, baseball glove forever. So when I put it on and realized I couldn't squeeze or open to catch a ball, it's very weird. That devastating diagnosis? Derek has ALS, a nervous system disease that weakens every muscle and impacts your ability to move and talk. The side effects can come on fast. That's Derek at home plate coaching as Bo gets to first base at his t-ball game. It was just a little over a year ago. Can do daddy. The disease has moved very quickly. Um, so he can't move his left arm really at all. His fingers don't move at all. Ready? Can move a little. He did that. He did that. He can't hold L. <laughs> but it's way stronger than I am. He's a wiggle worm. Neurologically, Derek is still daddy. He says that's the hardest part. Yeah. Impossible to even think about much less <clears throat> a talk about. At six, Bo knows things are different. He just asks lots of questions. He wants to understand why daddy's muscles don't work like they used to. He seems to take it well. He knows that daddy is different, but he also, um, big as a bus. He's just but thankful to have a daddy who loves him so much. I'll, um, I'll try to be involved as best I can. It takes Derek and Amber working together and this pole, now a fixture in their temporary living room, to move him from his power chair to a lounge chair. You can go more. I got you. Go. <sighs> While there is no known cure for ALS, the couple is trying everything, experimental treatments, anything that might slow the disease or, if they're really lucky, turn back the clock and reverse some of Derek's symptoms. We are not going to give up hope. We're gonna to continue to fight and to do literally whatever it takes to keep him here. But they're running into another challenge. Derek also has a rare bile ducts disorder that four years ago required a liver transplant. I was not expected to make it. Incredibly, he woke up from the surgery perfectly healthy thanks to that new liver, but the medication he has to take as a transplant patient rules him out for most clinical trials for ALS. We need someone to say, hey, this guy has beat the odds already once before, and we're going to help him do it again. They're hoping a Duke-based doctor who has reportedly had some luck in reversing symptoms for ALS patients will take him on. But you refuse to give up. No. 
We have way too much to live for. Our kiddos are worth the fight. Mm -hmm. Our marriage is worth the fight. So yep. we are determined to, to win. We'll continue to celebrate all the moments. Woo! We have to just Baby. hold on to just the normal stuff now. Ah, don't you run over me. Those normal little things are the big things for us. In the meantime, the family has gone through their savings, trying to make their home wheelchair accessible for Derek, and they're also hoping to buy a van that he can actually ride in without Amber having to lift him into it. Friends have set up a GoFundMe for them. If you'd like to help, we've got all the information you need on our website, WCNC.com. Back to you.